respect. No Man's has a wealth of options left open. The Corky is his most played this split, but uh, saying that he's played it four times and everything else he's played three or two teams. NA teams, Cloud9 specifically, last year make it all the way to semifinals after going through the planes. So every region represented Ooh. here has a bit of a challenge, and we'll see Fudge if they can it. make it. Fudge wants it, as you say, but Boss able to flash away, and here comes That's the Nana. Bad timing. Oh, Fudge. <laughs> Oh, Fudge indeed. Oh, He's dead. Man. And on him does have the Stalker's Blade. Now can land the smite going forward. Boss coming in from the side as well. Triple's going to have to flash away, but the stun still connects. And the chase is on. The knockback with the scatter of the week. Tanking the towers and Nana Sick, but Triple escapes. And Thinking about just the, the way the lanes are playing out, they're winning mid lane yep. with the Syndra against No Man's Corky as he's trying to scale up there. They're actually definitely winning bot lane. They have the shove on, on Inax basically the whole time. Um, but it's this top lane that's going to be pushed in that UOL is trying to capitalize on. Echo very good at turret diving once he's six. Teleport coming in. Fudge still has the flash. Boss trying to put the damage down with the Dominus. And Nanasik going forward. Care for the ult! Chrono break back, but Fudge was just at the edge of it. And now Nanasik will pay with his life. Triple So it, it's it's a bit of a wash in my opinion. Oh, Destiny did have to flash away just a moment ago. Here comes the Valkyrie. Edward flashing forward. Triple cord out. Can't get away. The suppression comes down, but that's not going to be enough from Babin. He's going to have to run back towards the tower. Fudge has teleported in as well. He's in the midst of five now with a cannon rush coming down. King jumping forward, trying to get to the Inax, who flashes the wall. King flashes after him, though. Whoa. We'll take him down. Now King needs to jump back across. Boss and Ananasik on the chase, and Unicorns have won the fight. They destroy a Mammoth. He doesn't want to yep. stop Triple's back. Triple's he could go for it. Ananasik does have the ultimate here. Boss going to look to slice and dice across the wall, but the Scatter of the Week hits onto Ananasik. He has to jump back. No men's in there. Boss off towards the side already. Ananasik has fallen. The Rift Dragon of the game It's an ocean going across towards Mammoth. And they can... Uh, Looks like Mammoth See? are looking for a play towards him up yep. to, uh, down He's towards the bottom lane. He's flashless. Flashless. Babbit. Yeah, just yanks him right back into the unleashed power. The dredge line hits as well. Ooh. Babbit almost falls, but Mammoth will take the kill. And so I about a him. half second early and got turret air when yep. he didn't have to. Uh, nearly cost him the kill, but he ends up getting away with that one. So he won't be able to stick around for the turret team. Yeah, I think a nano six should be able to get across here in time, as you say. Uh, Triple just backing away. He doesn't want to risk getting caught out, even though they have okay vision in the blue side jungle of the Unicorns of Love. The Rift Held would put quite a lot of damage down and... Ooh, real close. Almost. Are they gonna oh, get it? it might go down. That's two towers for the Unicorn, uh, for Mammoth. So. Sometimes their side lane control is a little bit weak without being able to take advantage on the other side. You see here, it's like three people are down bottom lane and Mammoth isn't getting any type of turret damage. But if they can get a kill here, maybe they'll turn something into it. And I think they have. Yeah, I think that's pretty easy for them. But Babip isn't even going to burn his impale. Yeah. Triple is getting really big in this game as he's able to pick up solo turret gold. 88 going to beat who there as well because the top two teams do go through to the knockout stages now. Destiny looking for the engagement to Edward. Look at the damage coming out from the scan of the oh. week. The jump in from Banana Stick with a knockback with a buster shot. And now the re-engage coming out. Babbit flashing forward. And that's a rampage for Triple. Because they burned all of their ultimates in that last fight. Edward might be going for something. Hex Flash isn't going to go the way he oh, wanted it to. He's stunned up. He doesn't have the ult. Can't quite hit with a Dark Spear there, and Fudge just forcing Unicorns oh, I back. think they were wishing they were getting Mountains, Infernals, or Clouds yeah. rather than Oceans at this exact moment, just because there's not a huge amount of poke during the Ocean Drakes to try and get to the good ones. In eight minutes, that Inferno will be big, but if they get this shut down, it's huge. With lots of damage coming down, and that's the kill. Triple shut down, no man's will. But, yeah, they're going to try and catch you while they're scouting. They are oh, Mammoth on the front line, Babbitt's gonna pull back Edward. Edward's not in the best of shape, still lands the knock-up. The Unbreakable Will's doing a lot of work, making him very tanky here, but Fudge flashes in, he's exhausted straight away. King takes down Edward, Woo! and there come the kills, rattling through one by one by one. And Ananasik is down, and here goes Boss into the middle of the frame, but he will fall as well, it's a double kill, and King is not done! Almost take down No Man's, but the Hex Drinker Shield is enough, and now Ananasik oh, no! back around, and King overstepped, overstayed! The final stand, trying to make the final play, No Man's going it for steal. Hoping for a Steal, they don't get it. Mammoth secure it. To so then look towards breaking one of these inhibitor towers. The resets will come through. Their season was successful. They are probably just going to clear it. That they want to pay the Skarna tax. The mid lane tower will fall. And as you say, doesn't special delivery of Destiny might be coming in here. Package doesn't get him away. No man doesn't click his W and Mammoth happily accept the kill. And Nanasik's gonna jump back in, but he is immediately done for. Edward yanked back into the team, yanked off the Summoner's Rift. It's a double for King. It's too easy for Mammoth. They're pushing in for the win. Yeah, we said no man's Well, as long as he doesn't get caught by the Skarner ultimate, they're gonna be able to wait out this Baron, but he does, and it looks like Mammoth is gonna start this group stage one and zero. Boss trying to do what he can, triple splash. In, Inax locked up, and he's going to use the oh. classic already. Triple's down, and now Boss falling down very quickly as well. He gets the 
Double kill! It's on King. He now needs to put the damage in, but Unicorns of Love have been able to defend. It they might hold. It's going to heal up. It looks like they might hold, but King is on the Nexus Towers. That Tristana has a huge amount of damage. He's on the second now. Boss and Inak's going to step forward. And Mammoth Joel is going into River, and it's... Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's a flank on Babbit. Yeah. Is that who you want to knock into your team? Apparently it is. Babbit gets knocked in. Boss on the front line. Babbit down to half HP already. And perhaps the flank was next level. 40 chess being worked. played here by Edward. Bottom side. Unicorns of Love. Oh, Do King, they fight it? King hit a ward. So that oh, revealed him yeah. temporarily. And you all know they're on this Baron. Here we go. Baron being started. Mammoth just turned straight onto Boss. It was a bait. They oh. hit the a bait. Mammoth, that was beautiful. And Boss has to slice and dice his way away. Edward in the middle of all the Mammoth now as they try and take the fight. But look at the damage onto a Nanotech. He's done. That's three. Mammoth with an absolutely beautiful play around Vision. You were confused. I was confused. But Mammoth knew exactly what they were doing. They ace Unicorns of Love. And they will not make a fourth mistake today. They are looking for that next. Surely they kill the Nexus this time. Yes. I I'm willing to say they're going to kill the Nexus this time, Medic. What a way to end it. Hitting the ward and then immediately pulling off to catch the flank TP from Boss. Sets them off on the right foot for this team fight, and they will win their first game of the play-in stage. Five years in the making. Mammoth take down Unicorns of Love.